KFC 254 marks the last time the Eagle will take flight. And we didn't know that until uh, really the post-fight interview. Mike, do you want to start by breaking down Khabib's unbelievable performance or just the shocking news of his retirement? Um, honestly, I think we can start with the, uh, we'll start with the performance because I think it was a perfect performance from a guy with a perfect record. Yeah, um, absolutely. Tell me a little bit about it, what he did so well and so effectively, which by the way, not to brag too much, but listen, there's nothing to be proud of when saying this fight's going to be really one-sided when it was supposed to be, uh, such an exciting fight and the prospect of, Oh, what if Gaethje can do this or that? And if you remember, I said, listen, early rounds, Khabib, it's just not going to be competitive. And that first round was because it wasn't necessarily just, you know, uh, Gaethje taking it to it was Khabib putting on the pressure and making Gaethje look like an old school version of himself who's just winging punches. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I want to hear from you. Tell me what Khabib did so good uh, in the in the in the cage there. Well, he overwhelmed uh, Justin Gaethje on the feet. This is something that uh, we didn't really expect because. You know, obviously the leg kicks were something. He landed a, a shit ton of leg kicks. And if that fight went into the later rounds, that would have affected Gate, uh, uh, Khabib to a greater deal. But I think what, what we really saw was Khabib's ability to, not, to take down but not ground and pound. He took him down and bounced into an instant grappling attempt to try to force a submission early. Like the second they touched the ground, Gate didn't even get a chance to explode. That American-style wrestling of... Gaethje, where he tries to explode and get up off the mat immediately, was thwarted. Again, that leg scissors from Khabib. All of that from the ground, that was huge for him. But I think what was the most impressive part was the stand-up. Khabib showed he could stand with him. Now Gaethje started winging punches from the outside, hooks, overhands. Wasn't going up the middle. Knees, uppercuts, nothing really came up the middle. Everything was outside, outside, swinging hooks. He caught Khabib a couple times, didn't rock him, didn't catch him cleanly enough. Uh, Khabib showed why he's the best in the world. I still think Gaethje posed one of the greater threats. I just think Khabib was so focused and improved on what was already such a perfect resume. Um, he made quick and light work of a guy who really should have posed a bigger threat. Justin Gaethje didn't look like the type of uh, competitor he usually is in the, in the ring. And that is a, a credit to Khabib and his ability to get somebody to fight his fight. Always. On the feet included now. Yeah, and let's not forget. I mean, you touched on it there. Uh, but I think it, you, you glanced over it too soon. Guys, Khabib showed us something that he's never showed us before, which is, I don't. if this guy's a good scrambler, that's fine. I'm not going to try to hold him down. I'm going to submit him from my back after I take him down. What a brilliant adjustment there to know, listen, Gaethje might be a really good scrambler, can fend off these takedowns. So what if I put him on top and I submit him off my back? And he almost did at the end of the first and he did at the end of the second or midway through the second. And that whole thing ended up from a shot that was scrambled and Khabib took his back. Like, I'm sure Gaethje was like, I've been practicing so much to avoid these takedowns and, and, and be able to scramble and keep the distance. And he did do a good job at keeping the distance, right? With the leg kicks, they were pretty effective. Uh, at least early on, right? But when Khabib started to pressure him and make Justin go backwards, I was like, oh, man, like, this is not, you know, it, Gaethje looking great against Tony Ferguson adds nothing to the stylistic matchup of Khabib. And even when Khabib threw that Dan Hooker knee, when uh, Gaethje went to go drop his hips because he thought he was going to shoot, and he pretty much shot right into, uh, right into Khabib's knee, I'm like, Dude, that's, that's so, you know, high-level thinking from Khabib. Um, and in the end, we were just super, super impressed at the fact that he's like, you know what, from taking your back, I'm going to reverse the position, wrap my legs around you and choke you out with a triangle. What a performance by Khabib. And it all amounted to this, which is he said, that's the last one. Now we were anticipating his last fight being 30 and oh, probably you and I had speculated against, uh, against GSP because why not? It's the last one. Who else is he going to fight? You know, Tony would probably, if it was Tony, then even at Tony, Tony's not, you know, the biggest of stars. And I don't think there's any questions that Khabib has, has left unanswered here. Clearly, he's the best of the pack, and it's really not competitive. But he retired, and he retired as a 32-year-old with a 29-0 and record, which is absolutely absurd. Were you, obviously, you were shocked, but tell me a little bit about, um, about his retirement and stuff. Well, when he started taking his gloves off and couldn't get the tape off, I'm like, this guy is done. Like, he's, he's, like that kind of gave it away when he was, they 
all this time trying to take the gloves off, take the gloves off. This isn't a guy with a broken hand trying to get this pressure off of his, off of his hand. Like this is a guy who's sitting there being like, yo, I'm done. Get these gloves off. I need to do the symbolic thing and drop these gloves in the middle of the ring. Um, when he started crying afterwards, especially, I was like, this guy is emotional. That's a, that is not just releasing pent, something pent up. It's also understanding that you're also done in the sport. Your time is done. This closed an entire chapter of combat sports for Khabib. Obviously, things could change five years from now. The guy's 31, 32 years old. But like we all know the tradition and the culture that he comes from. When he gives his word, he has to hold it. So I don't expect a guy coming and, 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 and you know, do, pulling a Henry Cejudo, obviously not even in the style, but in the sense of I'll come back and fight again. I don't think that's the case. I think Khabib's done. And the legacy he left behind him is flawless. It's something that you see in, like, movies or something. You can't script this kind of stuff. The guy loses his father, and his mother says, I don't want you to fight at all. He says, one more. He finishes the deal, and he looks his absolute best. He finished not only on top of the sport, not only as the pound-for-pound pound number one, but also finished with a perfect record with his best performance. Like, I had my thoughts of how Gaethje could try to try to make this fight a little bit different or make it tough, make it harder than it was against that, than it was even against Connor. Khabib had more issues against Connor than he did against Justin. And I, again, I think that speaks to Khabib's focus and his desire to win this no matter what. And, you know, all the heart that Justin had didn't matter. In the end, he got choked out, whether it was the fourth round or the second round. It was a dominant performance, and I have to give all the credit in the world to Khabib showing that third phase in his game. He's shown his stand-up. He's shown his ability to be obviously on top, but that third phase of the game where you're on your, on your bottom, you haven't needed to show it your whole career. You show it for 30 seconds aggregate in this fight on the bottom, and you finish off with two submission uh, attempts, and one of the second one was successful. That's amazing. That's spectacular. And I don't know if we're ever going to see somebody like this ever again dominate in such a strong division. Not only was he the best, he wasn't the best during John Jones where he's facing, uh, you know, the end of the old guard and then facing a bunch of guys who just clearly aren't on his level. There was a gap there that he took advantage of. You look at Anderson Silva, you can look at who he's fought, you can have your arguments. No one can debate the quality of competition that Khabib faced during this whole run and going and, and, and taking the people out that he did that were ranked, especially the last three or four opponents, Dustin oh, and Justin. I the last, and, like, eight. You know, the last it, eight have all been just absurd competition. I, so, I, I further your point, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. It's been amazing. And honestly, again, it's one of those situations where you need to make sure that you give guys their flowers while you can because you never know when a guy like this is just going to say, you know what, I'm kind of done. Yeah, and completely fair. Um, Exactly. I don't know what else there is to really say on that. Um, I was initially pretty surprised uh, just in the cage. I'm like, because all the while he had always said 30 and 0. So after 29 and 0, him taking off his gloves, I'm like, oh, he just wants to take off his gloves. That's fine. Some guys want to do that. Um, but I didn't anticipate him retiring. And then when he did, I'm like, oh my God. And I thought the biggest loser of all of this was George St. Pierre, because now George St. Pierre will never fight in the UFC again plain and simple but we're going to do another video breaking down the madness on 155 now um that's it on khabib khabib massive respect 29 and 0 quite arguably the greatest ever do it uh certainly in that division and uh what do you guys think what do you guys think was that is the, does he have to fight tony he's not going to i believe 100 percent if he says he's retired uh but where do you put him in the pound for pound rankings come this week and all time i I have some reserves about that. Maybe we can do a full podcast talking about it. But Khabib, certainly the most dominant fighter to ever compete in the UFC.